For quite some time now, indie developers have been making fun and innovative games for mobile and this game personally stood out to me. What's so special you might ask? I guess you'll soon find out. So hey what's up guys, it's me Hari Lakshman here and this is my review on Fractal Space. Fractal Space is basically a first person puzzle game. The storyline of this game is really enticing. You take the role of an unknown person who has lost his memories and is trapped in space. Your objective is to get out of this universe with the help of an invisible assistant who guides you along the way. I don't want to spoil the entire story to you guys but I would like to say that the game makes sure that it's revealed slowly. Since this game was made using the latest Unity engine, it isn't surprising that the graphics of this game is really good. The visuals look pleasing and the animations were flawless. The levels are designed in such a way that you don't feel confined in a box at all. I did feel that the textures looked a bit dull in some areas and it would have been better if they were more richer. Nevertheless, it was pleasing to my eye and it didn't disappoint me. The gameplay mechanics are similar to games like Portal. You have to solve puzzles, use taser guns, fly using jetpacks and do other fun stuff. The puzzles do take some time to complete and it gets more tougher as you progress through the game. I like the fact that the game lets the player to take complete control of his character and not restrict him by any means. And by the word restrict, I mean things like timers, barriers and all of those annoying stuff. Hints are provided to us in the form of dialogues and sentences written on walls, but they are provided in the most indirect way possible making the player to think twice before they leave. There is a substantial amount of items that can help you to grow and know more about your character. I heard that this game has some optimization issue with some devices and I hope that the developers fix them as soon as possible. The soundtrack of this game is dynamic and pleasing. It makes sure that the player gets completely immersed into the game and it won't disappoint you. The controls of this game can be stated as more of a hit or a miss in my book. It works really well but it has some glitches with the camera angles which needs to be fixed. And there's an option of using a controller. So yeah, in overall this is a solid package and it won't disappoint you. Honestly, I was surprised that this game was so good and I felt that the developers needed their love. And the best part is that it's free on Android and costs around a dollar on iOS. If you are interested, click on the i on the top right corner to try it out. So that's pretty much it guys. You can follow me on Twitter to stay updated. You can ask me anything on my AMA page and you can consider following me on Google Plus. And lastly, don't forget to like and subscribe. So thanks for watching.